everybody, it's Mrs. B from the New City Library. Today I'm going to read a book about raccoons, which you might see in your yard. It's written by Chris Bowman, and I'm reading with permission of Scholastic Publishers. What are raccoons? Raccoons are mammals found throughout North America. They live in forests and grasslands from Canada to Panama. Some even call cities home. Most raccoons like to be near water. They build homes called dens. They, these are often in trees, logs, or unused burrows. Dens can also be in old buildings. Raccoons have gray, brown, or yellow fur. They are known for their striped tails and mask-like markings. They also have pointed noses, short ears, and short legs. Their front paws have long fingers with sharp claws. Finding food. Raccoons use their front paws to grip food. These omnivores eat anything available. They forage for fruits, seeds, and bird eggs. They also hunt fish, insects, and rodents. Many even eat out of human trash cans. In the north, Food can be hard to find in the colder months. Raccoons in these areas eat as much as they can during the summer and fall. Then they sleep for most of the winter. Male raccoons are called boars. They are bigger than females or sows. They grow to be about 24 to 42 inches long. Most boars weigh between 8 and 20 pounds. Wow. Now this is a picture of a man and a picture of a raccoon next to the man so you can tell how large they are. Their large size often keeps predators from attacking. When danger is near, raccoons hiss, bark, and growl. Their sharp teeth also help fight off snakes, raptors, and other large animals. Sows give birth to cubs in spring or summer. Newborn raccoons are blind. Their eyes open after about three weeks. Mom stays near to protect her cubs. After about two months, raccoon cubs leave the den. They search for food with mom. They share her den for the next winter, and then they are ready to live on their own. Wow, that's pretty interesting stuff about raccoons. And you may see one in your yard, but if you do, don't go near it. We just heard and learned that they have sharp claws and sharp teeth. <laughs> it's always best to stay away from a wild animal. It's fine to look, but don't get too close and don't try to touch. Okay, I'll see you next time.